Hey guys, so we have a pretty big bombshell announcement for this week's Zenkai Awakenable character. Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black's Zenkai Awakening is coming. The red Goku Black Rose. This is definitely one of the more hype characters they could have announced the Zenkai Awakening for. People have actually been asking for this guy Zenkai for a very long time. And honestly, I have always been a huge proponent of them giving this guy Zenkai Awakening. I mean, uh, this is a character that went on release. Obviously, he was the first Rosé to ever be introduced to the game. We have a very distinct lack of red, like very good and viable red units in the meta right now, especially with the release of so many good yellow characters and the glow ups of like LOE. We got Zenkai Full Power Frieza. We got the LF Full Power Frieza sort of like overtaking the meta recently. There's just a lot of good, strong, powerful yellow characters. And there really hasn't been a solid response to that in any like really good red unit. So to see this Rosé get a Zenkai is definitely very, very good for the game, I think. So let's go ahead and see what they say about this character. And then we'll take a look at his kit and we'll sort of compare him to other units that have a similar kit to him. So his special move arts will restore his vanishing gauge by 60% and inflict strong bleed on hit. While his ultimate arts will nullify, restore his own health when it reaches zero effects on activation. So there you guys go. They give a little bit of uh, info on this guy. This guy's actually like so old at this point. Like this guy came out before, like, at the same, no actually yeah, it was the same time as the blue Vegeta that just got his Zenkai. So actually it was kind of like back to back <laughs> how they did that. Um, but uh, this guy, is his kit is pretty outdated, so they're going to have a lot to change with this guy's kit. So to just kind of go over what they talk about here, so his special move arts restores the Vanishing Gauge by 60%. His current blue card effect, let me zoom in here a little bit. His current blue card effect restores his own Vanishing Gauge by 40%. That is like pretty useless. Um, so here's the thing with 60% Vanishing Gauge restoration. Obviously, it's better than 40%. The thing with 60% is you can't really do a lot of the things that you would want to do with a 60% restore as opposed to a 70% restore. And the way I know this is because of using this guy. This guy has a 60% Vanishing Gauge Restoration blue card and he has Blast Armor, which actually I think does make a pretty big difference. So I'm really hoping this Rosé gets Blast Armor on his blue card as well. But this hit, if you guys have used this hit, um, there are, there are not as many things you can do with 60% as you can do with 70%. And as you guys know at this point, a unit that has 70% Vanishing Age Restoration on their blue card is Goku and Vegeta. You can very clearly tell the massive difference between 60% Vanish Restoration and 70% Vanish Restoration. Especially when you're talking about close range like combat with an enemy, right? There are instances where if you use a blue card that restores 60% of your Vanishing Gauge and you miss, you can't instantly just dodge your opponent. Whereas with a 70% Vanishing Gauge restoration, in most cases, you can use that blue card and then you automatically get your Vanishing back and you could dodge almost right away. So that is a huge difference between 60 and 70%. So I don't, I'm not like a huge, huge fan of them giving him 60%, but it's definitely better than 40, so I'll take that. And on top of this, I do hope they give him Blast Armor here. Um, and then the other thing, um, Ultimate Arts will nullify Restore on Health when it reaches zero. So he has uh, Endurance Nullification on his ultimate. Right now his ultimate just does, ma uh, does massive damage and then 50% ultimate damage. That's actually not bad. Like this is, when this guy released, this was like <laughs> one of the hardest hitting ultimates in the game. Massive plus 50% damage, that's pretty good. Um, so now that this gains Endurance Nullification on it, it's definitely better. But what would really help this ultimate a lot is if this gained uh, Blast Armor. Because right now, if you pop his main ability, which by the way gives him um, neutral typing, if you pop his main ability in mid range, and you see that exclamation point on like I don't know a future Gohan, for example, you can't go ahead and just click the ultimate and guaranteed get the kill on that future Gohan because there's no blast armor here. So I think the way that this gains value with endurance nullification is if you're able to catch a unit like future Gohan who has endurance on a sidestep with this with this main ability, then you can really capitalize on the endurance nullification. Another way you can do that uh, is if you use this in close range, you miss with the ultimate, and then you rush them while still having the endurance nullification buff, because then your rising rush will actually nullify their endurance as well. But I, I would like to see, this is what I want to see out of, out of what we've known so far from this Rosé. I want to see this 
gain blast armor in addition to the endurance nullification. This is going to go up to 60% and I would love to see blast armor on this. Obviously it's also going to gain bleed. So actually this becomes like one of the better blue blue cards in the game. Massive vanishing gauge restored by 60 blast armor and bleed. That's pretty good. Um, in terms of other stuff, oh yeah, we can take a look at his stats as well. So right now his stats are kind of poor. I mean, this is not really, <laughs> not really that great. Back when he came out, these are pretty premium stats. I mean, I just pulled up Super Gogeta here to have another another reference for a melee uh, type red Zenkai character. Who's honestly, he's over a year old now, but his stats are still very, very premium for even a Zenkai character. 290 to main offensive stat here. I expect, because his strike and blast are pretty close, I don't expect his strike stat to be like 290. But I'm thinking like maybe like 284-ish is what a strike stat will be, and the blast will probably be like 280. I think that's probably what we're looking at there. And then for defenses at 179, 182, I would honestly expect this Rosé's defense to be something like mid, low to mid 180s for both. That is probably what we, I would expect to see here. So pretty solid stats I would expect on this Rosé. And then let's just see, what are his current abilities here? So main ability, your time is up. Draws the ultimate arts card, own health by 20%. This will probably increase to 30% and he'll probably gain at least, I mean, you have to gain at least 20 key on this, otherwise you can't just instantly use your ultimate. So, hmm. I'll say draws his Mars card, restores own health by 30% and key by 40, nullifies own unfavorable element factors for 30 counts, and maybe removes attribute downgrades is probably what I'll say for the main ability. Uh, applies the following effects to self based on own remaining health when this character enters the battlefield. 75% or more, 30% damage inflicted, card draw speed. Below 75%, he gains 30 key and then 45%. Honestly, you can just get rid of this. Get rid of this first one and then remove the health restriction on this. So 30 key, 45% damage inflicted for 20 counts, and card draw speed for 20 counts, that's fine. I think this is actually like, this is a solid first unique ability for a character that's gonna have four unique abilities. I'm okay with this. And then the second unique ability is inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 10% of damage received uh, from tag god key or tag future three times when battle begins. So what I'll say for this is I would actually just keep this how it is, but remove this. So, inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade plus 10% of damage received, period. Just you, you, It doesn't need to be from a specific tag, because now with the leader slot, if you put this guy on a team that's not God Key or Future, then what? Your team's just not going to be doing extra damage to the enemy? Like, that's just, that's just stupid. <laughs> so, I think this doesn't need to be a specific debuff. Something else they could actually do to be very annoying is if they made this a non-cancelable debuff. So, it says cannot be cancelled after this as well. Because a lot of characters this day and age, like a lot, like I would honestly almost say most characters in this day and age have a way to remove attribute downgrades. So this is not really as impactful as it used to be just because of the ability of many of these characters to remove debuffs like this. But if they just got rid of this debuff or the, this uh, condition, I would be okay with this right here. Following effects occur when this character evades an enemy attack with a vanishing step, randomly destroys one enemy card, reduces next damage sustained by 30%. Uh, yeah, I think actually this is fine. I don't really have anything to change about this. Um, maybe it cannot be cancelled on this one as well, so that you, they can't just remove this. So that's really what I would change about these two unique abilities here. Um, we talked about this already. Green card is Slicer Dance. 20% to strike damage inflicted for 20 timer counts, and then minus 5 to own strike or and blast arts costs for 15 timer counts. Again, my big thing with stop time green cards is they have to give key back. So this is going to cost what, like 14 key? Or I guess it's going to cost like 11, or whatever level this card gets. I think it's going to be 5. This is going to cost 11 key, which is not bad. But you're basically just losing 11 key, uh, and you're not getting much value out of this. Because the, the way that these cards work, is when you're reducing a cost via a green card, it's really stupid, because this is how this actually works, by the way. If you're in the middle of a combo and you pop this green card, the minus five to strike and blast cost does not go into effect until the second card after you use this. So if you're comboing in the middle of a combo, you use this green card, and then immediately in the combo after using the green card, you use a strike card, it's not gonna take into account the minus five cost. I, I don't know why it works like that, but it does. It's very dumb. <laughs> It should immediately, like, you pop the green card, it should immediately work. There's like a little bit of a lag in between when the cost uh, reduction kicks in. But 
you're not really feeling like you're going to feel this cost because the, this cost reduction doesn't actually kick into effect until the second card after you use the green card. So again, I just think in all pretty much all instances, you, you do want these stop time green cards to have key back. Like honestly, just 20, 20 key. Give this green card 20 key restoration and it's good. Plus 20% strike damage. Make this make this just general damage. 20% So this, this is what I want the green card to look like. Um, restores 20 key. 20% of damage inflicted for 20 counts, and then minus 5 to own strike and blast for its cost for 15 counts. Boom, it's good. That's it. It's not that complicated. Talked about the ultimate already, and then I guess... Um, his Actually, his Z ability is pretty good. He was like one of the first ones to have a full 35% to 2 stats and 2 uh, tags um, for the stat buffs there for the Z ability. So I guess it's really going to come down to God Key or Future for Red for his Zenkai ability. Um, let's see here. So if we go God Key and Future, I mean, honestly, Future has gotten so many ridiculous buffs that I don't really know if I want to <laughs> Future another one. Uh, so in terms of if he, if he gave uh, the Future or the buff to Future in Red, it would be a buff uh, Zenkai buff to this uh, you know Elf Merge Zamasu and Trunks of Mai, and I guess this Red Goku, uh, <laughs> this old Zamasu and Mai as well. I guess who else is on here? This Red Trunks would be getting it. The Senkai Cell will be getting it. Oh, Revival Cell will be getting it. <laughs> and then this old Trunks will be getting it too. And if on God Key, we have Zamasu again. A lot of, a lot of overlap here. We have this Goku. We have this Goku. Um, oh, we have Super Saiyan God Goku and Whis. I think it's more appropriate, just given the theme of the celebration, to give it to God Key because of Super Saiyan Blue Kaiken Goku and the two free-to-play units being this Red Goku down here and this uh, Blue Vegeta over here. So if I had to give it to one of the two tags, it would probably be God Key. I think either tag is fine. I don't really... I don't really have like a major preference one way or the other if they want to give it to Future Red or God Key Red, but... I honestly am pretty happy this guy's getting a Zenkai. I think he can be a pretty big threat to the, uh, su the Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Kaiken teams out there. Uh, he's definitely a really annoying unit to fight against. He combos for so long, so hopefully this guy can come in and put a stop to a lot of those combos because nobody is using Red Kale Zenkai. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know down below what you guys think about this Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, and I'll see you all in the next one.